Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap episode on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can only profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Monday, January the 19th, U.S. markets are closed to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Day. So for those of you who have the day off, I uh, hope you have a great one. As a result, you can expect new is a little light. I've got three press releases for you, one out of the AIM, two out of Canada. So let's start you off first with the AIM contract. This is Turbo Power Systems for our friends in the UK, trades under stock symbol TPS on AIM. They announced uh, that they want a $4 million next generation laser power supply order. Uh, specifically, this is, the, uh, this is over the next two years to supply fourth generation high voltage power supplies to the US industrial laser manufacturers PRC Laser Corporation, that's one long name, but take a look at that. The good news about this, it's a follow-on contract to a third-generation product that they announced back on September 2006. First deliveries of this are expected to take place in Q2 2009 and then, uh, and then roll out over the next 24 months. So good news there out of Turbo Power. Next up, going to the big board, TSX in Canada's Wyland trades there under the stock symbol WIN. Big news here. Uh, they announced their wireless technology has been licensed by Pantech. Uh, this is a licensing agreement to certain patent, related to certain patents of Wyland's wireless technology. It's a multi-year agreement. Here's what's important. It covers all wireless products sold by Pantech. So anytime Pantech sells a product, they're going to be paying, uh, they're going to be paying some money to, uh, to, uh, uh, Wyland. Now, don't know the exact terms and conditions because they weren't released. Is it a one-time payment or is it an ongoing royalty or a combination thereof? Either way, it's good news for Wyland. Uh, great also because on January 15th, they announced the same kind of agreement to cover all wireless products sold by Samsung. Uh, so obviously, they're, they're accelerating their business plan pretty well here. Pantech, going back to them for a second to give you an idea of who they are, they supply a wide range of wireless handsets and mobile, brand, and mobile uh, broadband cards to major cellular carriers, including AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon. Quote here from Bill Middleton, Senior VP and General Counsel. Pantech is the latest addition to the list of handset vendors, which includes Nokia, RIM, and Samsung that have licensed our wireless technology. So they're doing some great work there over at YLAN. They closed yesterday at $1.62. And finally, on the resources side, Kimbari Gold trades on the Venture Exchange under KNB. This is an Agoracom client. Have to disclose that, but as always, we don't talk about Agoracom client, client news unless it really stands on its own two feet. And here, uh, Kimbari announces that they've again intersected high-grade gold at their LVAL project. This is in Spain. Uh, here are some highlight holes, two of them specifically. Uh, the first hole, OK, uh, let's call it 08 KV1176. Uh, 6.8 grams per ton of gold, 15 grams per ton of silver, 0.5% copper. That's over 26 and a half meters. And for hole 1175, 8.9 grams per ton of gold, 6 grams of silver, and 0.6% of copper. That's over 25.85 meters. Uh, what I like about Kimbara Gold, their immediate focus is to expand and upgrade resources to reserves at the El Val property in Spain in order to start operations at the mine and existing mill complex there in 2011. So again, in, these, in this day and age, you're looking for companies with advanced level projects and we're not talking about exploration, we're talking about a company that's looking to go uh, into production and restart operations that were already there. Kimbari closed uh, on, uh, on Friday at 34 and a half cents, way off its low of 16 cents. As always, I'm repeating this throughout 2008, uh, Agoracom TV has been calling for junior resource companies that are going to make a significant bounce off their bottoms. That's the good ones, that is. Uh, ones that are capable of being the Agoracom 100. I'm going to talk to you about that in a second, while the rest of the, uh, rest of the week companies got washed out in the markets. But good companies, uh, that's about fourth straight day where we're seeing significant bounces off 52-week lows. And the big news of the day that I want to talk to you is the announcement and the launch of the Agoracom 100. This is our marketplace. It's going to contain up to 100 great small cap companies listed by industry and exchange. Uh, the reason we've announced this is uh, quite simply quality over quantity. Too many companies out there for investors to follow and more specifically too many poor companies that investors have to try and sift through. The Agoracom 100 is now your marketplace. Uh, look at the top of the page, you'll see Agoracom 100 buttons on Agoracom. Click on that, that'll take you straight in there so you can find the one that best suits your portfolio. Have a fantastic day and see you tomorrow.